was back in October that former House Speaker Dennis Hasser pled guilty to breaking banking laws. But uh, it was two days ago that his defense laid out the request for sentencing. In response to that, federal prosecutors released late, late last night court paperwork where they lay out, as Fred was talking about, some of these allegations of sexual misconduct. And while the crime of breaking the law, of breaking these banking laws, was recent, According to federal prosecutors, it is rooted in a very dark origin of Hassert's past. And we want to warn you, as Fred did, that it could be uh, seemingly uncomfortable for some of you to hear some of these details laid out. But in one of these cases of sexual molestation, the defendant, Hassert, told individual A, who was a minor at the time, just 14 years old, to lie down on the bed and take off his underwear. The defendant then began massaging individual A's groin area. It became clear to individual A that the defendant, Hassert, was not touching him in a therapeutic manner to address a wrestling injury, but was touching him in an inappropriate sexual way. These alleged sexual molestation cases took place in the 1960s and 70s while Mr. Hassert was the head coach of a high school wrestling team. There's at least five individuals, five young men, who say that they were molested uh, by the former speaker. Now, it is important to note that Mr. Hassert has never said that he conducted or was involved in these sexual molestation cases. In fact, he's never mentioned them specifically. But just a few days ago, his defense attorney did release a statement on his behalf. The statement goes on to read, Mr. Hassert is deeply sorry and apologizes for his misconduct that occurred decades ago and the resulting harm he caused to others. And it is also very important to note that he's not going to be charged or he's not facing any charges related to this, Fred. The statute of limitations have uh, come and gone about mm -hmm. 30 years ago that this happened. So he's no longer going to face charges for these alleged Won't cases. Won't face charges for those because of the, you know, statute of limitations right. you mentioned, expiration. But that statement from the attorney, while it's not an admission, it's an apology for, you know, these uh, alleged uh, yeah. offenses. And he is facing sentencing on the banking. So all of this is coming together. It is all coming together and it is all connected. And that's the Fed's uh, case to try to figure out sentencing. They're trying to agree right now exactly how long in this court paperwork. They don't mention prison time, but they do say zero to six months, but not specifically prison time. When the Feds initially approached him about breaking banking laws, Hastert said that he was the victim of extortion. His attorneys contacted the FBI and IRS when they started recording these conversations between individual A, as he's named, in this lawsuit or in this court paperwork, they realized that the tone of individual A, this alleged victim of sexual molestation, was not one of somebody who's extorting. They realized that Hassert, according to the feds, was lying about his interactions and that he was paying, according to them, hush money for what had happened uh, about 30 years ago.